everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am all about decorating, organizing, and DIYing on a budget. If you enjoy those kinds of videos, I'll be sure to link all of the rest of my videos below so that you can check those out next. And please consider subscribing to my channel for more. But for today, I'm gonna to be sharing our DIY bathroom makeover on a budget. So I hope that it's inspiring for you and encouraging for you to do your own bathroom remodel. But let me go ahead and show you what we did. So the very first thing we chose for the room was the paint color. We chose this shade of Seafoam Blue by Glidden, which is a really nice crossover between baby blue and mint green, and it really brightened the ugly dark brown that we started out with. When we bought our house, this bathroom was winterized and there were holes in the walls, so we had to patch those up first before going in with our paint. It made the room appear much bigger and seemed the perfect color to give it that coastal look. Next, we chose Loft Gray by Bear to paint our vanity. It was originally a light oak color, and I wanted something soft and bright, so instead of white, we just went with this light gray. And I used a regular paintbrush and went all around with the paint. I definitely recommend that you do multiple coats, especially around the areas that your hands will be touching the most because you don't want the paint to chip off easily. Instead of buying brand new knobs, we decided to spray paint the existing ones with this black spray paint and same with the hinges on the doors. And once they were dry, I just screwed them back on into place. Then I put our new toilet paper holder onto the side of the vanity. We also sprayed any other fixtures like the towel ring and the outlet covers so that they would all match. We replaced the old silver faucet that we had in here with this dark bronzed one from Home Depot. It was a little bit of a splurge, but I'd say it's definitely a worthwhile investment to get a nicer finish because it makes it just look so much more expensive. And then I placed this soap dispenser from Pier 1 with one of my favorite scents that has such a nice fragrance. And just a tip guys, when it comes to decorating your countertops, less is more. Keep it simple, keep it clean. I really prefer just keeping the soap dispensers out and maybe a small plant next to that, but that's it. This new faucet really made the sink appear brand new from what it was before, so we didn't feel the need to replace it, especially since it was already a pleasant shade of white. We decided to remove the standard mirror in the bathroom, and I found this brown mirror from Goodwill for $8 that I just painted with that same loft gray to give it a distressed look and look so much better than what was there before. We replaced the old light above the mirror with this three light fixture. It actually came with covers, but I decided not to use them and instead to put in these large Edison bulbs and keep them uncovered. So I still got that elegant look without the expensive price tag. It also really helped to bring extra light to the room. So if you're like me and you're not looking to do a full-on renovation, a really easy way to make your bathroom shower appear so much more chic is choosing the right shower curtain. You don't want to go cheap and the longer and taller the better. I would definitely recommend that you go with some shade of white or pattern like I did here. This curtain was from TJ Maxx for about $15 and the paisley pattern ties in both silver and gold elements to match the rest of the room. Having a lighter curtain will also make the rest of your room appear bigger and will allow more light into your shower. I hung the curtain with these silver shell shower hooks that my mom gave me and I thought they tied in perfectly with the silver in the curtain. And because we kept the existing shower, to update it we just replaced the shower fixtures with these rubbed bronze ones and it looks so much nicer. The only thing I'd mention is that if you have hard water like we do, there's a little extra upkeep in cleaning them, but otherwise they're a great update. We found this gray peel and stick vinyl at Home Depot, so that was very easy to install and cover the ugly floors that we had before. It's been a couple years now and it has held up for us, so I would recommend this cheaper method than buying a new floor if you've been thinking about trying it out. 
Then we just touched up the trim with our white paint around the tub and baseboard of the room. And then we placed this large white rug from Home Goods over the floor. I definitely recommend and prefer using one large rug instead of two. I just think it makes it easier to vacuum and it covers a larger portion of the floor and just helps it to stay a little bit more simple and not too busy. We were fortunate that our toilet was in decent condition so we just had to replace the seat cover. Then above the toilet, I hung these two white medallion wall decals that I found at Home Goods. They were about $25 each and I stacked one on top of the other. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough space to put shelves in as planned, but I found that this was a nice alternative to fill and decorate this space. We were able to put shelves in our other bathroom, so if you have the room, I would encourage that you put some in to give yourself more storage space and put some items on there that you will need like toilet paper, bath bombs, or even cotton balls, and you can put them in clear containers to organize them. Then I placed this glass bath soap container from Home Goods on top of the toilet to give it a simple yet glamorous spa feel. And as for towels, I stuck with white because it's just a classic clean and spa-like look and feel to the bathroom. We got ours as a wedding gift a few years ago, but they are originally from Amazon. My husband recently changed out the ceiling fan for a much more efficient one than we had before, which we just got from our local Lowe's. We did also paint the door a bright white, replace the doorknob with this black one, and then I hung a white towel on the back of the door. So storage is somewhat limited in our bathroom, so I just used under the sink primarily to keep things. I bought these white lattice bins from Walmart and placed things that I use regularly in them. So I have my makeup towels stacked on one side and then I keep hygienic items and things that I need on hand like hairspray, contact solution and mouthwash toward the front. And I found this clear toothbrush holder at the Dollar Tree so we will use that to hold our toothbrushes on the counter. And that's how we remodeled and organized our bathroom on a budget. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a like and comment below. What were your thoughts? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Is this going to encourage you to do your own bathroom remodel? I would love to hear back from you guys and be sure to check out my other videos. As I mentioned, I do have them linked below for you and consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already. But otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.